Northrop Grumman appears to be having a back to the future with its next generation stealth bomber design, and it's actually very exciting. Detailed information on the B-21 Raider is scarce, but for over a year and a half we've been producing renderings depicting the stealth platform multi-role strategy. Basic Shapes and Features Recently, another rendering of a simple plan form has come out of the marketing department of stealth bomber manufacturer Northrop Grumman. While there is no doubt that the aircraft will feature all advanced technologies, will be built using the latest manufacturing techniques, and will be covered with the most advanced radar absorbent coatings, the general configuration of the aircraft is not visible. Completely new, in fact it seems that it has been more than three decades since the start of the stealth bomber revolution. The B-21 looks a lot like Northrop's B-2 Spirit at first glance, and that's for good reason. It seems that the Northrop team got the B-2 design very precisely over 30 years ago, and they would have brought it closer to the B-21 design if the USAF did not grant the request for low-altitude penetration capability to the plane. The program, later called the high-tech bomber, despite its design failure calls for increased low-level flying capabilities arose out of fears that Russia would deploy increasingly sophisticated radars that would neutralize the B-2's low-level attributes. Thus, being able to sneak under the radar through Earth flight profiles like the B-52 and B-1 became a requirement for high-flying strategic bombers that relied primarily on stealth design and careful missions. Planning for survival. This pointless addition not only made the B-2 less stealthy in some respects and for a given radar bandwidth, especially after longer wavelengths, but also increased the aircraft's weight and lowered the altitude ceiling. The plane substantially, from about 60,000 feet down or 50,000 feet. The change also affected the range of the design and most importantly, it added to the cost and complexity of an already highly advanced and expensive aircraft. Thus Northrop's advanced technology bomber design that would eventually become the B-2, which was called the Senior Rice, during development, was originally it lacks the distinctive sort of rear edge but instead has a large wedge-shaped tomponage like the B-21 Raider. The sort of feature only came about as a result of widespread changes in requirements from the USAF that required ATBs to have low-level penetration capability. All of this took place in the mid-1980s, at the height of the Reagan-era defense spending boom and at a time when the Soviet Union's war machine was still a very real threat. But just half a decade later, B-2 production costs, ballooning in part due to reduced production volumes funded by Congress as a result of the collapse of the Soviet Union, would cause the program to enter a procurement death spiral, with production ending after only 21 were built. Today the B-2 remains a silver bullet weapon system, truly a low-density, high-demand American asset, that has proven its worth time and time again, including most recently in Libya a second time. The small fleet continues to receive upgrades that will allow it to remain relevant into the second half of the 21st century. None of the exhausts are shown on this rendering of the B-21, and it is highly unlikely they were on the rear edge of the jet or especially under the fuselage where the jet is most vulnerable to detection by infrared search and track systems. But it's not so strange that the first public renderings of the B-2 don't show the exhaust system because it's one of the aircraft's most sensitive features and remains so to this day. If you shoot a B-2 on a USAF base, shooting from behind is still prohibited. It is abundantly clear, see above that the USAF and Northrop Grumman looked back to the late 1980s to see how they handled the early disclosure of the B-2 design when rendering the B-21. Aside from telling us that Northrop got a stealth bomber design that remarkably some 30 years ago, even when computing power was only a fraction of today's, the B-21's similar design to earlier senior ICE derivatives tells us some very interesting things about the new bomber potential ability. 
The fact that the design shape of the B-21 closely resembles the senior ICE high-altitude penetrator concept tells us that the B-21 will be a highly aerodynamic and efficient high-flying weapons and sensors platform, and this is critical. If Northrop's original ATB design had a target operational altitude of 60,000 feet, it is likely that the B-21 will fulfill the same high-flying objective. This makes perfect sense as the aircraft will be able to reach its range destinations with less fuel and thrust than others, and most importantly, being able to fly in the RQ-4 Global Hawk flight envelope region means the B-21 can place its sensors. Perfect for remote work, taking advantage of its extreme line of sight. It also means the B-21 will be able to hover over the tactical dogfight environment below. It can thus act as a communications connectivity node and data link, siphoning information from F-35s, F-22s, and proprietary stealth data links and one unmanned combat aerial vehicle. It can then link these ships by rebroadcasting updates of the general battlefield image that melts on each of its waveforms. They can also relay battlefield information from hidden assets below to satellites above which can be rotated around the theater and so on for real-time exploits. In essence, this will allow the B-21 to act in a role similar to the Battlefield Airborne Communications Node BACN, for stealth assets for which sensor information will be one of the most important as these assets will be deployed furthest forward on the battlefield. This concept, which has been touted confidentially in several organizational concept charts in recent years, solves a number of problems and fits into two high-priority USAF initiatives. That includes a focus on networking and information sharing, as well as moving from a platform-centric intelligence gathering and data collection strategy to a distributed strategy. It also means, like the high-flying F-22 Raptor, the B-21's many weapons, which will include everything from JDAMs to ordnance massive penetrators to long-range air-to-air missiles, will benefit from the radar. Even the potential of future lasers will have a wider range because of these performance attributes. This equates to a longer range of stalemate attacks and as a result increased survivability, as well as increased weapon range for offensive attacks. The point is that the B-21, being truly a stealth multi-role platform, not just combat in the traditional sense, will be able to be more effective across a wide range of missions by operating at a higher level. Tall. It also meant the plane would be cheaper to build as it would require a less complicated structure and less powerful engines, and even the ability to carry less fuel, to complete its mission.